I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Texting while driving and talking on your cell phone while behind the wheel in certain areas becomes illegal tomorrow, Tony Magoo reports. Beginning October 1st, Florida law enforcement officers can begin pulling drivers over for using their handheld cellular phone while driving in certain areas. To help us sort this new law out, we have Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley with us. What this part of the law says is that if you are in a school zone or a construction zone, not only are you not allowed to text and drive, but you're not allowed to hold a phone and talk on it. Officers will issue warnings until January 1st. In 2020, violators could be charged with a moving violation, which includes a base $60 fine and three points on their driver's license. I certainly encourage our drivers to get a hands-free device if you don't have Bluetooth in your car. Just be safer when you drive and talk on your phone. And certainly texting and driving is just dangerous. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Air Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. An accused murderer takes the stand in his own trial. Joseph Bova II says voices in his head told him to kill Flagler Beach gas station clerk Sue Haley Rosado in 2013. On the stand, Bova says those voices told him Rosado was evil and she could kill with her eyes. He claimed those voices told him he would be a hero and that by killing the devil, he would be saving all of Flagler County. He claims the voices in his head tortured him. Bova said he hadn't slept in seven years. And only recently, during his time being committed to a psychiatric hospital, did he realize he'd acted wrongly. Bova is claiming he was legally insane at the time of the shooting and appealed directly to the jury to find him guilty by reason of insanity so he can be sent back to a psychiatric hospital and get some sleep. The prosecution, though, painted a picture of premeditated murder. On cross-examination, they revealed a man who repainted his truck after the murder, sold it, and fled his Benell apartment. Someone who knew they'd done wrong. A forensic psychologist also took the stand for the defense and could not definitively say Bova was legally insane when he killed the mother of six. Joe Sesta said, though, Bova was psychotic and irrational, but admitted schizophrenics can have forethought, bolstering the prosecution's claim that Rosado's murder was premeditated. A proposal from the University of North Florida would create a medical nexus facility in Palm Coast Town Center. John Arking has the details. The Jacksonville-based school, in partnership with the City of Palm Coast, Flagler Schools, and Advent Health Palm Coast, wants to build UNF MedNex, which they describe as a way to consolidate healthcare disciplines, technology development, research, and analytics into a collaborative hub of educational learning, development, and placement of students, as well as a hub of scholarly and technological advance in the healthcare fields for Northeast Florida and the state. Republican State Representative Paul Renner says this would be a huge boon for the area, but they have to temper that enthusiasm with the reality of the process. We're uh, several large steps away from this becoming a reality, but we're not in Chapter 1 anymore. And so the good news is uh, we've come through a lot of behind-the-scenes conversations and, uh, and talked to a lot of people to put us in a position where now UNF has formally requested, their trustees have formally approved, to send to the Board of Governors this medical nexus to come to Flagler County, which would be, I think, transformational for our area. So it now goes to the Board of Governors, which governs all of the university system. They have to approve it. If they say no, then it it stops right there until we can get approval perhaps in the future. But there's some optimism there that they're excited about this idea, and I hope that that constitutes the majority of the Board of Governors, and we can see this come to fruition. If the Board passes the $23.8 million budget request, It would then move on to the Florida legislature, potentially as soon as this winter. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arley. Some say that building a career is a career in itself. Lynette Schott is the Executive Director of Student and Community Engagement in Flagler County, and she is one of those. Being able to know how to go out and seek where your skill set goes, knowing how to connect and network with the people that are connected there, and knowing how to get the training that you need for that, that's a skill set in itself. Schott said she points students and community members who are looking for careers in the direction of those companies on the verge of needing employees now, to listen to the entire interview, go to the Free For All Friday podcast. You'll find that at the Flagler Radio app. You can download the app today. Tomorrow, Shot discusses career pathways. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.